Hello YouTube viewers. Uh, another toy review for my new wave and a new area for my new wave. And you know, it's probably going to be here. Yeah, it's with my whole collection area, you know, stuff. So this is where it's going to be probably for a while. Because now, I don't know, the sun is going against me, so you know I can't focus in. Now I, well, when it's sunny out, the sun, the sun shall come through my window and land right here. That sounds weird. Anyway, so we're going to be reviewing the Bionicle Stars Takanova. Takanova! And now I can do some of the cool reviews. There is one that I do need metal to do a review on, but that's right. Okay, so I just popped it. Let's take them out. This figure is very accurate. Well, I mean, how he looks. Older figure, which I have seen, and I am sad to say he looks nothing like. He does not look anything like his figure self. Not maybe a little bit. Neither does Grish, but that bigger Grish doesn't look that good at all. Looks kind of crazy because like. His front to me just looked weird. Like the armor was way too small for his body, and you could just see a bunch of you know, you know, you could see this body except you know all this. Right? Anyway, so this is Takanova, a very very nice figure. So don't make fun of it. Yeah, isn't that big? Because the box is not that big. Let's compare them with, you know, compare them to what you guys might think. Gomorrah. So, yeah, he's about a 5 inch figure, I would say. You know, he's in 6 inch scale, but I would say he's 5 inch because the big ones are like uh, 7, 8 inch. Mutran's probably about 9 inch because he's almost as tall as my Bang Presto Godzilla. So, yeah, he's about an 8 inch scale figure. So. Articulation, this guy has ball jointed head, shoulders, hands, legs, and feet. So everything that's articulated is, you know, ball jointed, which is normal for bionicles. And I'm not going to show it because, well, you know, I don't have to. Um, this figure can go in many different poses, you know. One of my favorites would be, you know, have him running or even better charging at you. Kind of like this. You know, you can have him sword fighting and stuff. But yeah, detail. Don't have to go into that except for the face. The face is really nice. Really do like the face. Uh, well, the mask and not the face. And the mask is the old ones too. They didn't change it to a Glitorian one. The normal face. Yeah. So. The blades are also nice as well. So, yeah. this figure is nice. And detail, well, that doesn't count for Bionicle unless it's got detailed parts. That's only for a selected few, though, so this really doesn't count as in detail wise. So, overall, I'm going to give Takanova with, you know, the, because of lack of detail, like none at all, sorry, um, I shall not, like, um, take points off of him because you know that would be a little unfair because he doesn't even have articulation. Oh that's just scale him up with something. Uh, dude. So it's not bigger than an Ardo volume. It's thicker but not bigger. Well forty three it probably almost beats his arm. Okay, so sorry for that. Just had an Ardo on the mind because I've been reading my new manga. 37, which I've read about a few times, but that's okay because I really enjoy it. It's a really nice one. So, yeah. So, overall, this figure is really nice, and you know, I'm not cutting him for the lack of detail that you can't. You can't even cut it off because he's got none, so. Let's give him just one more person. So, 
He is definitely a five or six inch size figure, so he's like a standard Dragon Ball Z figure. So yeah, this figure will definitely get a five out of five. Well, you know, a four out of five because of these the same leg parts as the arms, which kind of bothers me. You know, I mean, yeah, those little tiny ones that they used for Taiyu and Grish. Yeah, Those bothered me as well, but you know, not as bad as this. I would like them to have elbow articulation because you know, you can't do as many poses with them with articulation without the articulation in here. I mean, especially with Takanova being a double swordsman. I mean, with yeah, I'll, high Kyra, Kyra, you know, he's fine with these straight arms, but I'll get to that in his review. So yeah, Takanova will get a four out of five. I guess I'll see you guys later.